you ever had his attention have you ever had him come up and look at you and look at you just look at you you know what he's waiting for you to say what you want he's waiting for you to say what you want once you've got his attention serve him by saying his word Holy Ghost is, right is God in the earth today. And you walk with Him Holy by Ghost saying the word. God in the earth today. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. This message will revolutionize your life. And it, this message, will become to you as significant as you allow it to or as insignificant as you allow it to how significant do you want it to be it's up to you now you may not get it all by hearing it just once I know many of us have had to hear things over and over and over. I had to hear things over and over again I didn't get it all at once that's why the Bible says hearing and hearing why hearing twice because you didn't get it all the first time mm -hmm. but if you can recognize listen if you can recognize that what you need is in here then you can go there mm -hmm. that's hearing you recognize it you hear it differently than you might than someone else might one person could be sitting next to another person one person has ears to hear and has a life transforming experience with god mm -hmm. and the one sitting right next to him who should have heard the same thing got nothing out of it mm -hmm. right. one person had great significance come to them the other one just went home yep. so it took me years to get here say years. years i didn't get here overnight i got here over the years and over paying prices say paying prices. paying prices paying prices of obedience paying prices to say specifically mm -hmm. what god tells me to say rather than what people wanted me to say mm -hmm. over and over and over again when you're faithful in that then you get blessed and you get promoted Amen. because god found somebody who'd be faithful to say whatever he told him to say even if they didn't want to say it how many times have you heard me say that I'm gonna be saying some things that I prank frankly I don't want to say mm -hmm. but I say it anyway it took years to refine this message for you we're refining a message down to where it has a different impact on your life than if you just had to have some kind of flowery thing come at you this won't come at you with any flowers they'll come at you and pff, hit your right square the forehead and you have to do something with it so it took years to refine this message down to the things I'm going to say to you tonight but if you can hear it you can have anything you want mm -hmm. from God did you hear that mm -hmm. and I'm here as a sent one with this message to help you to learn how to walk with God the Holy Ghost in the earth today he's the only one in the earth today of the Godhead where's Jesus in heaven at the right hand of the Father where's the Father he's he's attached to his right hand <laughs> next to Jesus and they sent the Holy Ghost into the earth is the Holy Ghost God yes. yes Luke chapter 4 and then the second half of verse 8 this is Jesus speaking Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve was Jesus talking about himself couldn't be he said thou shalt worship the he was saying that who he was worship thou shalt worship say worship, worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve 
does that apply for us today yes. who we are who are we to worship the Lord our God mm -hmm. who is God in the earth today the Holy, the Holy Ghost thou shalt worship the Lord thy God who is the Holy Ghost who's in the earth right and him only mm -hmm. say in him only. him only now you know we have all of these little you know we have little punctuations in our English here supposedly to help us out but it doesn't always thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve now you could say him only shalt thou serve so who would you only be serving him, him the Lord your God who would you be serving in the earth the Holy Ghost and some people might be okay with that but if it's him only that we're talking about him only serving it also had to include what was before it thou shalt worship the him only that you serve yes. are you getting this mm -hmm. who should we worship the Holy Ghost and serve him only why because he's the one in the earth Amen. you don't hear this every place do you well if you want to walk with God how many want to walk with God you're gonna be worshiping and serving him that's what Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve that would be walking with God walking with God would be worshiping him and serving him if I worship and serve him I'm walking with him are you here yes. who's God in the earth Holy Ghost worship him serve him serve him worship him walk with him walk with him serve him worship him well the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today and your walking with him will be by worshiping him and serving him that thou shalt worship him and him only serve and the only includes both it would have to I hope I got that across worship him only in the earth doesn't mean you can't worship Jesus doesn't mean you can't worship the Father in heaven but if you're gonna be walking with God in the earth you're gonna be worshiping him yes. and serving him mm -hmm. only but worshiping him and serving him are so closely connected that you have a hard time differentiate differentiating between the two worshiping and serving say worshiping, worshiping. And, serving. and serving wouldn't worshiping him be serving him they're closely connected yeah. say they're closely connected. they're closely connected if I'm worshiping him I'm serving him especially if I'm a temple of God the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. you're gonna get mad at me at that if I say I'm a temple of God the Holy Ghost hey I'm not in heaven right am I in heaven I'm a temple of God the Holy Ghost I'm in the earth he's in the earth right yeah. if I'm worshiping why a temple should worship the God that's in the temple yeah. if I'm worshiping him I'm serving him See how they're closely connected if I'm serving him I'm going to be speaking in agreement with him yes. we serve God by saying words mm -hmm. I'm worshiping him if I'm worshiping him what am I doing I'm saying words if I'm serving him I'm saying words some of the words I might say when I'm serving him would be I worship you Holy Ghost say I worship you I worship Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost you just served him but you also worshiped him are you here they're very closely connected that's my point am I getting this across yeah. now, worshiping him him is serving him serving him is speaking in agreement with his word or speaking his words mm -hmm. but both worship and serving use words mm -hmm. both honor him worship and serve both please him both magnify him in your life magnify means to increase 
to expand the influence of to glorify is to, to build up magnify are you here yes. both worshiping him and serving him by speaking in agreement with his words magnify him increase this first Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19 what know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost who is in you who you have of God and you're not your own for you are bought with a price therefore glorify God in your body who did it say was in your body verse 19 what no you're not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost therefore glorify magnify God in your body what glorifies God worshiping him and serving him increases him increases his presence his his ability in your life are you getting this can you see that you worship when you worship God it glorifies him can you see that when you speak in agreement with his word serving him it glorifies him glorify magnify increase thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve so let me be real clear if I wasn't clear enough yet when you walk the floor and say these words I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost only because you're the only God in the earth today when you walk the floor and you worship God and say I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost when you walk the floor and say I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost only you are magnifying God you're glorifying God and then speak verses of scripture you're serving God in the earth are you here yes. when you do that you're worshiping him you're serving him this glorifies him as God this magnifies him as God this increases him as God in your life obviously he can't be increased as God you understand he's still God there's no increase to him but you increase him in your life this increases his everything and his ability to do things in your life to manifest himself in your life you think he's gonna manifest in his God in your life if you don't worship him and serve him and Jesus said this is literally one of the first things Jesus said out of his mouth after the Holy Ghost came on him worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve mm -hmm. so get that straight worshiping him the Holy Ghost and serving him the Holy Ghost magnifies God mm -hmm. glorifies God increases him as God in your life when I speak verses of Scripture the promises of God I'm serving him but it's also closely connected to worshiping him that is worshiping him when I say my God supplies all my need according to his riches that is a form of worship mm -hmm. he's able to increase he's able to be glorified and magnified in that mm -hmm. so this is worship to him and this pleases him and I got news for you this message pleases him it may be irritating you but this is pleasing him the number one form of worship is saying and what would you say do you suppose I worship you right the number one form of serving is saying and the saying was a continuation of the worshiping there is nothing greater than the Word of God in your mouth you're serving him 
you're magnifying him and you're worshiping him by saying the word of god say when i say the word of god, word of god. i'm worshiping god. worshiping god in fact you're worshiping him with it say with it, with it. you're worshiping god with his words by saying them mm -hmm. you're magnifying him doing this will completely destroy the works of the devil in your life and establish you in the kingdom of god mm -hmm. what will worshiping god speaking his words days ago he said teach them how to worship me and part of that is saying his words speaking in agreement with his words now listen be careful what you say after you worship the Holy Ghost be careful what you say after you worship the Holy Ghost if you're saying I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost be careful what you say after that because that's part of the service of worship it's part of the worship service are you here yes so let's say that i use the words i worship you holy ghost only and i say those words and i worship the holy ghost with words those words for a period of time let's say 10 minutes i worship you holy ghost only i worship you holy ghost after you worship him be careful what you say mm -hmm. i'm going to say the things i desire that are in line with the word mm -hmm. don't speak contrary to the one you just worshiped don't speak opposite to the one that you just worshiped mm -hmm. don't say oh things never work out for me when the bible clearly says in romans 8 28 that all things work together for good for you in fact that would be a good thing to say after you've worshiped the holy ghost holy ghost i worship you i worship you holy ghost only all things work together for good for me what did i just do i just worshiped him and served him that magnifies him that increases his ability to be that god and the fulfiller of that promise in my life are you here so be careful what you say after you worship the Holy Ghost if you do he will give you anything that you want Psalms 37 by the way who do you think all the promises of God are for somebody else they're for the worshipers of God yes. he is the promise when you worship him and you say his promise he's able to manifest himself in that what did i say psalm 37 yeah. verse 4 delight thyself also in the lord and he shall give thee the desires of your heart <laughs> delight thyself wouldn't delighting include worshiping if you haven't worshiped the Holy Ghost you're missing a great delight it's delightful it's full of delight something that most people have never experienced delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall take away everything you have and make an example out of you you know that would be more acceptable in most circles but if i delight myself and worship the holy ghost the lord my god right he shall give me say me, me. the desires of my heart anything you want but you must say it there's this thing about god and there's a thing about the angels 
they think you want what you say and if you don't say it they don't know anything about it the Holy Ghost works in the world of words remember we serve him by saying words yes. we worship him by saying words if you don't say the words there's nothing for him to know that you want mm -hmm. same thing with the angels they hearken to the voice of God's Word when you give voice to it they go oh that's what he wants but most people are walking around saying stupid things Well, he will give you the desires of your heart he will give you anything you want but you must say it in his world the world of the Holy Ghost are you here yes. he created everything out of words everything in the earth is made out of words right and then he entered into whoosh, this world made out of words mm -hmm. if it's not made out of words he doesn't have anything to do with it so if you just have a desire in your heart say a desire in my heart and you don't give voice to it it will never come to pass because he works in a world of words and you're serving him by saying his word in his world want means say use your words yeah you ever see a, well, a little baby i know you've seen a little baby you see a little baby and they're like <laughs> and they point at something that they want and you're like use your words mm -hmm. as they grow up mm -hmm. well they don't use it when they don't have words yet yeah what are you a baby grow up use your words and your words will be his words if you're serving him mm -hmm. use his words well the angels are the same way they think you want what you say and if you're saying stupid things or things contrary to the word they'll just stand there and look at you mm -hmm. like you're an idiot mm -hmm. I would imagine they spend a lot of time standing there looking at people like they're idiots <laughs> but not you say not me, not me. see because I speak in agreement with God's word and they look at me like I'm a genius and they get busy that's that's the sign of an angel being busy <laughs> Psalms 107 verse 2 let the redeemed of the Lord say so is that in your Bible yes. Yes. should you say so yes. why are you redeemed because I say so why are you healed because I say so why are you rich because I say so it's what I want I have whatever I want mm -hmm. he told me to say so redeemed from what redeemed from poverty redeemed from the curse redeemed from sickness and disease redeemed from the ravages of old age mm -hmm. let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy you have to say so if you don't say so they think that's what you want nothing or you want your present circumstance you want your present situation Joel uh, chapter 3 verse 10 says let the weak say I'm getting weaker I'm so weak is that what it says no let the weak say I am strong and likewise by inference you can say let the poor say I'm so poor no let the poor say I'm rich let the sick say I'm healed let the old say my youth is renewed let the oppressed say I'm delivered say I'm delivered So now you've got this working if you've come if you've come this far this message you've got this working say I've got this working, got this working. are you here I've got it working I worship you Holy Ghost only I worship you Holy Ghost only you've got his attention 
have you ever had his attention have you ever had him come up and look at you and look at you just look at you you know what he's waiting for you to say what you want he's waiting for you to say what you want once you've got his attention serve him by saying his word somebody got that speak his promises you worship him you worship him you worship him and, and you get his attention and then you speak his promises which frankly that's what you want mm -hmm. find one you want there's plenty of them in there and he becomes that to you he becomes that to you in increasing and increasing and increasing measure mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. I become that promise said Proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it he becomes that to me and I become that promise said now Peter in the book of Acts quoted from the prophet Joel he said speaking of the Holy Ghost that this is that mm -hmm. which was spoken this is that which was spoken Peter was talking about the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. how did he become that because it was spoken the Holy Ghost won't become anything to you unless you speak in agreement with his word you have to say that and stop saying the other thing would you like all things to work together for good for you then you need to say all things work together for good for me I worship you Holy Ghost only all things work together for good for me don't go I worship you Holy Ghost and then nothing works together for good for me I won't say it it's against my religion it's against my religion to speak contrary to the Holy Ghost because I worship him and serve him isn't that your religion when you worship and serve so a few suggestions here is this all right mm -hmm. I'm going to suggest this to you especially if you're a partner with me I suggest Proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it so you're gonna spend some time worshiping the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost only you're gonna spend some time worshiping the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost only and then you're gonna say Proverbs 10 22 say I want, I want Proverbs, Proverbs 10, 22. 10 22 so you're gonna say what you want you understand Proverbs 10 22 is the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it so I'm gonna be made rich and added no sorrow with it I say this for you and for my partners every single day so when you say when you're saying it you're saying it in agreement with me and you're saying it in agreement with the Holy Ghost and his word yeah. I also recommend Psalms 107 20 he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions partners with me in this ministry have this said over them every day Proverbs 10 22 Psalms 107 20 and other things but these are two specific things I'm believing for and saying for you he sent his word and healed you and delivered you from your destructions what are you gonna say about it something else I'm not healed and I'm not delivered stop it stop it knock it off quit saying that don't speak don't let it come out of your mouth don't say anything against your religion against your God the Holy Ghost speak only serve only in agreement with him he sent his word and healed me and delivered me I am healed I am delivered I worship you Holy Ghost I'm speaking that over you you speak it over you he's already spoken it over you if you say them 
you're in agreement with me and I'm in agreement with you and we're both in agreement with the Holy Ghost who is God and will be able to listen and will be able to manifest himself in that this is that which was spoken who done did the speaking say I done did the speaking, I done did the speaking. <laughs> so get in agreement get in agreement get in agreement and refuse to say anything contrary worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve only say those things that serve him catch yourself don't say anything contrary to that I am healed I am delivered sickness cannot stay in my body mm -hmm. we've been majoring on insignificant things in the body of Christ for years do's and don'ts we left the law and we came into a whole bunch of other do's and don'ts and left this undone mm -hmm. it's the number one thing say it's the number one thing it's the number one thing, it's the number one thing. he may not be impressed with you as a person listen to me this is good news the Holy Ghost may not be impressed with you as a person and certainly the Christians aren't I'm gonna raise their eyebrow at you they don't agree with you you didn't do everything the way they wanted you to do it their do's and don'ts goodness mm -hmm. thank God we're not here to please them right Amen. but even the Holy Ghost may not be impressed with you as a person but he's not looking at you He's looking at your words where do we need to impress him with our words doesn't mean your actions aren't you aren't accountable for your actions you understand I'm not I'm not saying that don't go off the deep end on me here but I'm saying he may not be impressed with you. I'm not impressed with you as a person you're probably not impressed with me as a person man I don't like the way you look well neither do I half the time get over it he may not be impressed with you as a person or with everything you do but he's not looking at you he's looking at your words same with the angels they're not looking at you they're looking at your words say he's looking, he's looking. at my words. my words I worship him with my words I serve him with my words he's able to be magnified in my life through the vehicle of me worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his words mm -hmm. that's majoring on the major mm -hmm. and then all the other things will snap in line eventually he's not looking at you he's looking at your words matthew chapter 12 verse 37 for by thy words thou shalt be justified by thy what you say jesus by thy words you will be justified by thy words you will be condemned mm -hmm. what are you justified by your good looks your actions no by your words why is that because he's not looking at you he's looking at your words and you get those straight by worshiping him and serving him with your words and you're justified by them mm -hmm. are you here Say, I worship you, Holy Ghost only. I worship you, Holy Ghost. And I speak in agreement with your word. In with your That's impressive. You're impressive. You, you know, you're not impressing him with your own person, but that's impressive. Who are you supposed to be impressing? Him as God in the earth today. Holy Ghost I pray for these people I thank you that this impression is on them and they are beginning to enter into a new phase of life where they walk with you as God in the earth and those words that they speak in agreement with you shall begin to manifest and come to pass quickly I speak in agreement with them they speak in agreement with me and we speak in agreement with you and we thank you for the great victory an increase coming to us even right now in Jesus name amen, amen.
if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you you are god in the earth today and i serve you by saying words i say the blessing of the lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow and i say you sent your word and healed me and delivered me from my destruction this is the truth this is the way and we walk in it with you holy ghost as god in the earth today in jesus name amen